And I know sometimes people don't want to hear that, but it is the truth. Hi guys, it is Shay. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you can hear me well because I don't have a microphone hooked up. But anyway, we are going to talk today about growing long, healthy locks while I do a braid out. So this is where we are. This is my favorite hairstyle right now. If you follow me, you already know that. I just love the ease of having these braids in my hair. My locks are thick, so um, there's not that many of these braids. So it never, and I've said this 10 million times, but if you're new here, you haven't heard it. So I'll say it again. Because my locks are thick, I it doesn't take me very long to do my hair. I only have 46 locks, so it doesn't take me very long. So we get this done like wash day for me is like an hour so anyway let's talk about the tips or the secrets to grow long healthy locks okay i have been locked now for almost six years i will try to break down some tips you've probably already heard them before but maybe you need a little reminder so um, the first tip is going to be you have to establish a routine. So my routine in the beginning was washing my hair once a week, oiling it, you know, whatever. So that that became my routine. And then I changed it up to every two weeks or vice versa. I can't remember exactly, but I had a routine. It was either I was going to wash my hair once a week or I was going to wash my hair every two weeks. I did not retwist. I really don't retwist. So that wasn't going to be part of my routine. Retwisting was not part of my routine. However, in the beginning, I did retwist maybe two or three times and I'd wait like months to do a retwist, but it wasn't a lot. So my routine was I'm going to wash my hair. I am going to just, I think I braided it up then. I can't remember, I'll have to go back and insert some pictures. But my routine was I'm gonna wash my hair and I'm not gonna retwist it. So I established that routine and I was not gonna add any product to it like gels. I did add a little oil to it at times. Pretty frequent in the beginning, I would add oil to it, but I wasn't going to add any gels to my hair. Okay, another thing that I thought about when I wanted to grow my locks, um, and, and this doesn't necessarily help to grow your locks, but I didn't want to hinder the growth. So I wanted to dye my hair black because I just love the look of like jet black locks. So I wanted to dye my hair black. So I made it a point to seek out some healthier options for hair dye. Uh, so you guys will know if you watch my videos that I use Natura Tint and I also use Herba Tint and I get those from um, the Sprouts grocery store. If you don't have one in your area, you can probably get it at Amazon or you can probably get it at Whole Foods, but it's like pl plant based dye. To me, it's way better than having um, the dyes in the in the drugstore or in Target or whatever. Like I remember in the beginning dyeing my hair with one of those um, and I don't want to say any names but I got it at Target and I want to say it affected my skin like I want to say it, my face broke out a little bit because of that hair dye, dye so I was like never again not doing it again if I have to pay a little more pretty much double the price for the plant-based dyes then that's what I'm gonna do because I don't want my skin to break out from using hair dye so if my skin's breaking out like you know everything you put on your body like on your skin will seep into your system so it's like i just want to try to be conscious of what i'm putting on my body also what i'm eating so that i can maintain my health and also uh, have healthy hair so that was another thing uh that i did in regards to growing my locks and making sure that they stayed healthy and strong as far as the schedule for the hair dyeing, 
I would like I think the box recommends every four to six weeks or whatever I actually went a little longer than that sometimes too long now I try to stay on track with about every six weeks but I would go like months without dyeing my hair and then I'd be like you know what it's finally time for me to dye my hair again so I um, would dye it very like infrequently uh, but I did you know I did maintain the dye and I only dyed it black I never I, I was about to tell a lie I was gonna say I never wanted to dye it another color but that's not true I actually wanted to dye it like a dark red and I went and bought the hair dye and I never used it I never used it because number one I thought it would probably not take because my hair is so dark like I wanted it like a dark dark you know like that pretty burgundy type red I just thought that would be so pretty but I realized that I probably need to go to a professional to get that done so I never did it here um, but yeah so I've only dyed I'm saying all that to say I have only dyed my locks black okay, something else that I have talked about before is if you want to have strong healthy locks hair whatever you are going to have to watch what you put into your body so you're gonna have to eat healthy you're going to have to drink a lot of water you're going to have to do those things because you are what you eat I know everybody has heard that before you are what you eat so that stuff like it definitely affects your hair it definitely affects your body your skin everything so in growing healthy hair long hair I am conscious of what I put in my body so that's just another tip that's just a tip for anybody that wants to be healthy and look healthy you gotta watch what you eat I also exercise I don't know if that plays a part into having strong healthy hair I don't know I haven't done the research on that you guys can tell me below but I think it would right like getting that blood circulating keeping your body moving that probably has an effect so so that's that's something else like just be conscious of what you're eating drink a lot of water don't drink too much alcohol hopefully you don't smoke like all of those things can be a detriment to your body and your hair okay and the last tip will be patience and I know sometimes people don't want to hear that but it is the truth you got to be patient you have to be patient um, because there's just no choice like what are you gonna do you have to be patient you have to just enjoy the process enjoy the journey because I'm telling you before you know it your hair will be the length that you want it it might even be too long and get in your way <laughs> you know like right now I'm dealing with getting food in my hair because like I'm eating and it just it is what I'm not complaining I'm definitely not complaining because I love it I'm loving this length so I think I got them all out but let me turn my phone down I'm loving this length I'm not complaining at all and I am just very very happy with it right now so yeah you have to be patient this is my third lock journey I understand the patience um, that it takes to grow locks I I actually with this journey and the one before this so second and third journey I added extensions to my locks and they looked horrible but I added them because I was just kind of I, I guess I was lacking a little patience right but I was tired of the um, beginning phases so I wanted to add a little hair just so that I could do something different like put it in a ponytail it was just a lot but I never kept, like this 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 go around I didn't keep those extensions in that long maybe a few months and then I took them out and I was like happy with the pro process or whatever again but I just needed something different for a minute so that's why I put it in and ever since then it's been just all me so those to sum it all up those are my tips establish a routine if you are using products like hair dye try to get something a little healthy so be conscious of the ingredients that are in your products also eat healthy 
you know like have eat healthy drink water and then also you want to be patient be patient and that's it so we are wait i'm talking about we are done and i got this one sitting right here so that is it leave a comment below let me know how your journey is going and let me take this out and show you guys the final i don't know if i've, did, I've done like a um a uh here we go like a length check in a while so we got that <clears throat> and we got that and we're good now since school is about to be out, I'll, I'll be washing my hair and you guys are going to see them in all their glory. I love doing that, but I never, like I always twist it up, but this summer I'm going to just show you them out so you can see them that way. But that is about it. If you have any questions, let me know and I will see you in the next video.